Tyler. This is Gideon. This is Michael. Reporting from Adelaide South Drive for Everdyne News. Today we sailed on a replica of a ship similar to those which brought settlers from England to South Australia in 1836. The one and all is based on the classic 1850s brigantines. She is almost 43 metres long, 8 metres wide and her main mast is 27 metres high. One of her first made of voyages was the first fleet reenactment in 1987 for our nation's 200th anniversary. Many of the settlers who arrived in the first fleet were Christians. The first Christian minister, Richard Johnson, was among them. Richard Johnson brought with him many Bibles and on Sunday, 3rd February 1788, he conducted the first Christian service on Australian soil duty as his text, Psalm 116.12. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? For many years, South Australia's capital, Adelaide, was known as the Holy City. Then it was known as the City of Churches. Adelaide, in its formative years, couldn't fit all the worshippers in its chapels. During its first eight years, there were more preachers and places of worship than in the first decade in New England, USA. Many of South Australia's fans were Christians. One such person was robbed home. In 1827, he stayed in a house of common speech that we are cooperating in the scheme of providence and other famous in causing Christian civilization to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Today, South Australia is known as the Festival State. Many people have forgotten their Christian roots and have turned from God to idolatry. As a family, we want to revive and continue the Christian heritage which our forefathers began when they arrived with that first fleet over 200 years ago, proclaiming the providence and wondrous works of the only true God to future generations. This is Caleb. This is Gideon. This is Michael. Reporting from Adelaide, South Australia for Everyday News.